I'm forecaster Clay Osterley. And I'm meteorologist Kyle Myers. Welcome back to another week of Whether or Not It's True, a series where we answer your questions about the weather. And in the spirit of Severe Weather Awareness Week, we picked a topic this week that's familiar to everyone. This week we're talking about lightning. Pop quiz, what comes first, lightning or thunder? Lightning, yeah. Because, oh, because the speed of light travels faster than the speed of sound. She's right. The extreme heat from lightning causes the air around it to rapidly expand, resulting in a booming sound. Now, during severe weather season, we experience all types of different threats, hail, wind, tornadoes, but most frequently lightning. 26 people died last year alone from lightning, and on average, 360 people are injured from lightning every year. This week's question is one that we're familiar with here in the South. We've heard it for years. Can you be struck by lightning while taking a shower during a thunderstorm? Never heard that before. I don't know about taking a shower, but I know like dealing with electronics and stuff like that, you can be struck by lightning. I have heard that. Normally, that's going to be the first place where lightning will come out of in the shower, so I really don't recommend taking a shower during a thunderstorm. Well, to answer this question, we turn to physicist David McGraw. Even shaving, for example, they'll tell you not to shave during an electrical storm. Uh, of course, water goes, electri electricity will go through water, so you don't want to be in the shower when you're, you know, during an electrical storm. The National Weather Service and Intergy say that even though it's unlikely that you'll be struck in a shower, you should still protect yourself by staying indoors and unplugging your appliances. To protect your appliances, any non-essential appliances like computers and televisions, the best way to protect them is to disconnect them. Uh, but once the storm has, has started and it has gotten into your area, you need to stay away from them. So to sum this up, although it's unlikely, this myth has been deemed plausible because if lightning did hit your house, the electricity would take the easiest route to the ground, which may be through your wiring or through your plumbing. Well, that does it for this week. I'm meteorologist Kyle Myers. And I'm forecaster Clay Osterley answering for you whether or not it's true. true.